Shiro's new Silver Line is earning high marks for its true uh, first test here, rush hour today. And more than 10,000 people used the five new stations this morning. Many riders were doing more than just traveling to and from work, though. That's right. Horace Holmes joins us now live from the end of the line at the Wheelie Reston East Station to explain how things went today. Horace, what's the word? Well, Leon, there were a lot, a lot of people out here testing out the ride and then also testing out their brand new commute. Let's take a look at their faces and you can tell how things went on day one. The long wait is finally over. Never thought it was going to happen. We've heard about it for years, but didn't think it was going to actually happen. And commuters wasted no time breaking in the new $3 billion metro extension to Reston. More people live in Reston, so it makes sense. For some commuters, it's all about convenience. We live about three miles south of here, and we're very excited to have it so close after all these years. For others, economics. I'm saving like close to $10. Trains aren't rolling all the way to Dulles Airport yet, but it's coming. But for now, there's a quick metro connection. Now it's more frequent service and it's only $5. To take the shuttle bus from the Wheelie Road Reston stop to the airport and back. It's cool. I mean, it was cheaper than taking a taxi. Anuj Modi arrived by Amtrak to Union Station from Philadelphia, caught the Silver Line Metro to the new Reston stop, and now is going to take the shuttle bus to Dulles to work. Is this convenient or what? No. Not no. yet. <laughs> At any rate, day one of the weekday commute on the Silver Line is about in the books. Overall, a smooth ride and a lot of happy faces. Awesome. You should have been a long time ago. And what about ridership on day one of this workday commute on the Silver Line? Well, Metro says it was a lot heavier than they expected. And then they expected, of course, to pick up in September after the vacation season is over and everybody heads back to work together. Reporting live, Horace Holmes, ABC 7 News. Thank you.